I'm going to show you the best ways to defeat Tristan the Vampire Hunter, as well as potential ways to cheese this boss fight, and just everything you need to know about how to win this boss fight. So first off, this boss, Tristan the Vampire Hunter, he is level 46. You won't even be able to see him in here until your gear score is like, I don't know, 38 or 36 or something like that. Uh, if you want to get more geared, I'd suggest getting iron tools and iron weapons. Uh, crossbows nice, spears really nice for the reach, those are really good. And then the tier 5 uh, armor, using a tailoring bench and all that, you know, that, that that would be really nice to have as well. If not, you definitely could beat him without it though. It's just going to be a lot tighter of a, of a window to beat him. So obviously you're going to track him, and he, just so you know, he actually roams the entire Farbane Woods. I've found him all the way at the Sulphur Quarry. I have found him all the way at the Trapper Camp. So tracking him is absolutely your best bet to find him, although it's definitely possible to just find him uh, randomly, which has happened. Well, pro probably will happen to you if you're in the Farbane Woods often enough. So like if you are lower level trying to fight him, just run around and you'll eventually run into him on the roads. Once you find Tristan the Vampire Hunter, depending on what time of day it is, you may want to just follow him patiently until the start of night because this fight depending on what I gear score you are and what weapons you have this fight might literally take like eight in-game hours or something like that so uh if you start it like right, right where I'm at right now then it could easily bleed over into uh daytime and then I have to fight him during the day which makes beating him just absurdly more difficult because then you don't you have to fight him in random shade another thing whenever you're fighting him you definitely want to wait to fight him until you are, oh my gosh, until uh, he's in an area where you can drag him off to some side area like this that doesn't have any enemies. Do not fight him on the road, because if you fight him on the road, random enemies will roam over to you and join the fight constantly, and it'll make the fight just dramatically harder. So if you're going to try to cheese Tristan the Vampire Hunters, two different ways I know of to do it. One is you can try to get him to fight a really strong enemy like a stone golem, which he will fight. Um, and that'll just make it so you can just kind of watch. Stone Golem will not be able to kill him, but it will do a bunch of damage to him for you, and hopefully he doesn't aggro to you, and you can just kind of watch for a while and then fight him when he's already low. Another thing that I like to do when fighting him is fight from a horse. Uh, he is super, super vulnerable to you fighting from a horse. He just does not know how to deal with it, and... Uh, if you just run around, and don't forget that you can sprint with the horse. You can run fast with the horse. So um, if you just run fast with the horse, then he uh, you can you can dodge a lot of his attacks. And so combo with that, you can try one of two things. You can shoot at him from far away with a crossbow while on the horse. And then if you need distance, you can always run away, which is kind of scary though, because he can dash really far in later stages and kind of close the distance. Uh, so this, I don't know, using crossbow is kind of sketchy later on in the fight. But the other one is use the spear. And I messed it up there because I wasn't sprinting, but I was supposed to be sprinting. If you're sprinting with the horse and you use the spear, oh my God, it's a disaster. If you're sprinting with the horse and you use the spear, you can just kind of like joust him forever and he can't really do anything about it like this. And you'll see, I can just run around like this. It's well, the golem's almost making it harder on myself though because he randomly swings at it and then I can walk into a swing. but. You see what I mean? How you can just run around like this and just joust him, basically. And he just cannot deal with that. There's just, like, nothing he can do about it. Uh, the other thing, when you're doing it, watch out for running into things, because then you can get smacked. Because if you accidentally mess up your movement and run into a tree at the wrong time, he will smack the crap out of you, and that will that'll be bad. But, yeah, this is a good way to do it if you're going to cheese it. You just let him fight a stone golem, and then once he's done, he's already low, and then you just fight him. Uh, but other than that... Uh, I need to get to the actual mechanics of like how he fights and how to deal with it uh, if you want to fight him without a horse or a stone golem. So if you fight him, you'll notice he starts off with two attacks. Um, the One is a fire slash and one is an ice slash. And he's not doing them already. There's the fire slash. Fire slash goes in a straight line, kind of like a spear attack. In order to dodge it, you can just walk to his side and rotate around him in order to make him miss. The blue slash, though, you cannot dodge by rotating around him. He'll hit you no matter what. So the blue slash, you have to get distance from him, uh, either by running uh, early or by um, using your dash. And if you're not going to make it out fast enough, then you're just going to want to dash to get away from it. Once he loses some health, he'll get a roll attack, but that's still all he'll do. He'll roll, and then he'll do a slash, which is fine. Uh, but then later on, 
uh, not just a little bit later on, he gets that attack. And that attack is super dangerous if you're running away at the wrong angle, basically. Uh, because it's one of those ones that also extends forward, and you cannot dodge it if you only run in a straight line away. In order to dodge it, you need to run to the sides. The next one he gets is that crossbow he just shot at me. And when he gets a crossbow, it's pretty straightforward. It's just a crossbow. You just gotta run to the side, and then you'll dodge it. Uh, then eventually, he later on, you see, I mean, if I walk a straight line away from one of those attacks, I get punished. But later on, he will get a bomb throw attack, which is probably the most annoying attack in his kit by far. Super, super annoying attack because it blocks out a huge zone of the fight. And if you don't dash away, you'll, there's a good chance you'll get hit like that, which is not good because you only take so many hits from this guy before it's over. So uh, bomb attack is going to be the most annoying. Generally, you're going to want to use your dash in order to dodge it if you're on foot because the radius is just so large. Uh, that it is an issue. So the biggest trick is to never get too far away from him because uh, if you get too far away from him, then when he does the uh, uh, dash attack, then it's pretty hard to dodge that attack. If you're too far away, then uh, it seems like it's really hard to actually run sideways of him. So it's a lot better to stay kind of close and just always be rotating with them as much as possible. Which is probably why they gave him the bomb attack in order to close that, uh, make it so it's harder to use, the, you know, do that to your advantage. Like he blocks off a lot of the map and that makes it so you can't rotate around him as easily, which makes the fight a lot harder. But you see what I mean about the horse and jousting him is you can just kind of do this and just kind of run away. And even during the day, it's not so bad of an issue then. Although when he does the bomb attack, you got to find a new way to go about jousting him. But you can easily just find two different points of shade and then just rotate between them. Run away, stop, turn around, sprint, slash, run past, run back to shade, and just joust him. And he literally just has nothing he can do to cope with this mechanic. Like, the bomb is the only thing he can do, kind of block off some of the map. Uh, but other than blocking off some of the map, he really just can't seem to do anything about it if you do this. Which is also why it's important to fight him away from the road, because if random enemies come to help him, that's, that's I guess, the only thing he can really do to help to protect himself from this mechanic of jousting him. Uh, just random enemies coming by and shooting you off the horse of the crossbow is probably the most dangerous thing in this fight. Much more dangerous than the vampire hunter himself. So uh, be aware, definitely fight him off of the road. And if you do that, then you can probably beat him even during the day like what I'm doing right now. Although definitely better to do it at night. This is way, way, way harder when I have to do it from shadow to shadow instead of uh, just fighting him and just being relaxed. And there you go. Uh, I was able to just joust him down and just cheat it basically. And Tristan the Vampire, uh, Tristan the Vampire Hunter is no more. So those are some tips and tricks of how to beat this guy. Uh, once he gets to the bomb stage, there are no new mechanics, as far as I'm aware. That was the last one that I saw, at least. And uh, yeah, once you get to the bomb, you're all good. If you know how to fight everything up until that point. Uh, if, you're, if you're gonna fight it on foot, it's all about rotating around him while fighting him from left to right, like, you know, clockwise, counterclockwise. You never really wanna just run straight away other than to get out of range of the blue attack. And if you are going to fight him on foot, then I highly recommend being patient because uh, he really punishes people who try to go fast when fighting him. Uh, because if you go too fast, then you'll have to use your dash to dodge the blue slash. But then if he follows up with the bomb, then you're no matter what gonna get hit and things like that. So it's really about being patient and just getting stabs in there when you can. I recommend the spear just because the range makes it way easier to get uh, distance on him. And also, if you have good ranged attacks, then you could just stay away, throw ranged, and just, you know, be aware of the rotating. There. If you're on foot, really the most dangerous attack is when he does the one where he jumps at you and then stabs. Uh, if you're not close enough to where you can rotate to the side, then that attack will, like, almost no matter what hit you. Uh, other than that, again, just dodging the bomb, having your dash available when he throws the bomb is really important because when you're on foot, there's a chance, depending on RNG, that you literally will not be able to dodge it if you just run a straight line. So uh, be aware of that. But that's uh, everything I can think to tell you about Tristan the Vampire Hunter and how to beat him. Once you beat him, you will be able to convert Blood Essence into Greater Blood Essence, which makes the entire game cycle way easier, especially 
uh, getting and controlling servants in this game. So beating Tristan the Vampire Hunter is almost like a prerequisite to actually enjoy the servant mechanisms in V Rising. And after you beat him, that whole thing will just get so much easier. So hopefully it helps you out. Hopefully now you'll be able to beat Tristan the Vampire Hunter. Honestly, in my opinion, the horse is the way to go. But if you want to fight him any other way, there's no reason you can't beat him with anything else. Uh, just depending on how you take the fight. But hopefully now this uh, V-Blood boss fight will be a little bit easier for you in V-Rising.